Nike banned sneakery selling in the US. But is this the end of the Nike sneaker copying era? Recently, Nike has announced strict anti-bot measures enforced from October 2022. Earlier this year, Nike already prohibited purchasing their products for resale. But according to their updated terms of service, buyers are now forbidden to use automation for sneaker copying. Nike's representatives say the goal is to ensure a fair chance to get hands on hype drops. This way, sneakerheads who want to wear the kicks will be able to get them directly from a provider and for a reasonable price. Though, Nike's new restrictions might also be motivated by self-serving reasons. It's not a secret that Nike is undergoing an unpurchased inventory overload. This is because mass resellers fail to sell purchased sneakers and continuously make large-scale returns. Frustration with secondary sales can be supported by Nike's lawsuit against StockX, an online resale marketplace, which, according to the company, is responsible for 10% of inventory overstock. Unfortunately, to Nike, resale is highly profitable. In 2019, sneaker resale generated $6 billion profit, and by 2030, it's expected to reach over $30 billion. So Nike's irritation with losing revenue is justifiable. But what should you expect from Nike's new policy? First up, more order cancellations. From now on, Nike has the right to reject orders if an account has excessive returns. Also, if there are numerous orders to the same address, the purchase can also be declined if there's a suspicion of any bots in action. Then come the financial penalties. If your cart botting sneakers, Nike will charge restocking fees or decline to issue refunds. And finally, account suspensions. Even frequent purchases can flag an account as automated and lead to losing its access. In theory, the new policy should impact only large secondary retailers. Yet, Nike can take action without providing proof of resale. So, in short, anyone's at risk. Until the actual effect of these changes come to light, be careful when sneaker botting, even for personal use. Go with top-notch bots and proxies and stick to small purchases. To help you get started, we made a video on best sneaker proxies. Check it out and I'll see you in the next proxy news episode.